Welcome back to next week. So, uh, what are we building here, Clay? Oh, uh, are we really starting? No, let's start up. Like, no, absolutely. That was gotta, that was yeah. nope. That was the beginning. And we got to do the clap. We did the clap. No, we didn't. That's okay. I'll figure it out. <laughs> no, let's do it. Let's. Uh, let me think. Oh, gosh, damn it, man. That was awesome. Segue right into it. Okay. You're gonna have to step up your acting ability, sir. Yeah, it's not good. It's way bad. No. All right. Wait well, a minute. <laughs> welcome back. How are you going to start this? Welcome back. <laughs> That's how Clint starts. <laughs> you can't do that. No, I'm not. What do I do with my hands? I know. <laughs> what was it? He was. <laughs> you guys got some chips? <laughs> What's <it>? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Well, join us next week. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. Yeah. <laughs>
little double-sided tape. We're gonna hook it up. We're gonna get it working first, and then we'll go from there. That should be it right there. Okay. Give me just a little tug. All right. Main thing we don't want to do is power this up without the antenna on it. Correct. And our power this up. What the hell, man? Set me up for failure. There we go. All right. Oh, God. That's a bad deal. I had it. I pulled it out and it went bing. Okay. After a bit of a snafu, thanks, Casey. You're welcome. We, uh, you want know, to get in here? We, uh, had a little bit of an issue with the switch and uh, we got the switch repaired now. Uh, we were trying to get this battery lead un unplugged and it was stuck, really stuck. So we had to take the switch apart and rebuild it and all that fun. Uh, we've got it fixed now, uh, at least we think so. Casey soldered us up a new lead. We're gonna swap out the battery. The issue we were having was the battery was dead. So when we tried to power it up, it wasn't enough voltage to run the uh, XHT module. So now we've got everything running. I'm gonna confirm that the switch is off. Plug it in and power it up. Hear a tone from the XHT module. We got a light off air or off camera. We went ahead and we bound this all up and we tested it to make sure it worked. But just to show, that it does work. We've got it hooked up to the aileron channel and it's all working here. We're using the FR Sky X8R. We just got a receiver pack on it right now. Uh, just kind of testing it. Um, one of the other things that we did have to do was on the little board here, we had to change this dip switch to off off and that is from the instruction sheet to work with the X8R manual. Which is Our, D16 mode. Right. Um, that part of that, Casey, thank you, because I don't know what that right. means. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Either way, we've got that working. We're going to now, uh, we're going to take the back of the case and we're going to mount the antenna. Now, one of the other things that we, I don't know if we caught it, I mean, we're, I'm not sure, but you never want to power this up without the antenna on it. Uh, if you do that, you can damage the RF board in here, is my understanding. It needs so, to see a load. It needs to see a load, that's right. So we're gonna take this all back apart a little bit. Um, we'll probably shoot over to the time lapse, but we're gonna drill a hole here. We're going to mount the antenna. We're gonna stick this into the back of the case with double-sided tape. And we're gonna put the uh, this little board here this is what changes the receiver modes and this is how you bind it. This is your bind button. So with that being said, we're gonna mount that in the back here. Uh, we're gonna get rid of the old nickel, metal, NICAD, whatever it was. And we're just gonna, we got a little 2S1000 we're gonna slap in here. It's nothing special, it's just what we had on hand. Well, we got this thing finished finally. Crisis averted. Should have taken us uh, 15 minutes, 20 minutes. <laughs> Four hours later, uh, maybe not quite four hours. I kind of 
fucked up. I mean, so, messed up. We'll show you. But this little piece that is right between my fingers is amazingly critical. Amazingly critical. <laughs> amazingly critical. Tiniest little piece. But luckily we had another one and we were able to salvage it and make the project work. Just to go quickly, um, I want to get a close up here. We've got the antenna mounted on the top. And we mounted the battery. This is just a Hobby King battery, nothing special. Soldered in a JST connection. So we're gonna charge this out of the radio. Bind button and the dip switches are mounted there. When you power it up, you'll get your bind lights and all that stuff from the XHT module right there on that little board. Let's see if I can get this tucked in here. Probably could just tear that label off, huh? Yeah, you want to get all fancy, you can definitely make that switch work in a different location. But man, right there, right behind the battery door, man, it's all covert stealth technology, man. Yeah, the only thing that really gives it away that this is a 2.4 converted transmitter is this antenna. I mean, that's really it. And we tucked it in there just because in this location, I felt like the handle would give it a little bit of security, safety, maybe not break it as easily. Uh, of course, you can probably replace these antennas if you break it, I would imagine. Yep. Um, they sell them. Oh, yeah. FR Sky is pretty good about selling parts for their stuff. A little rubber ducky antenna, man. Um, whenever we fly it, we'll probably raise it out, something like that. And uh, just keep it tucked in. Power it up. Power up the receiver here. We've got throttle, rudder, elevator, and aileron. Trims seem to be working. So it's working on a standard X8R receiver, just running receiver pack on the servos. Uh, it's got a little bit of jitter, but I think that's probably in the servos. The centering seems to be a little bit better on this one than the last one we done. Uh, the gold case, the servos were off a little bit and it just didn't seem to work out as well. So we're gonna try this out. We're gonna throw this in an airplane with an Aura 8 so that we can get Expo. Uh, what all can we get, Casey? Remind well, man, me. I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's like- Servo travel. Yeah, yeah, computer, um, func you know, computer radio functionality out of uh, an older model. Right, because with this one here, all we're really getting is servo reversing. Now, we'll, include in the next video when we throw this onto an Aura 8. Because of the experience we had with the gold case, this may have to change. The servo reversing on the transmitter may need to be different. Right. Just because we learned the hard way that you don't just run everything in normal like you do on a modern radio. Right. Uh, what ended up happening was we... Our uh, gyro correction direction. Was backwards. Correct. And it was on the elevator and it was all bad. Yeah. So we're going to show how to test that and how to get it all set up right in another video. But until then, I don't know, Casey, what do you think? Man, I tell you what, we got it working. We overcome some of the diversity that, that I may, have, may or may not have caused. Yeah. I'll take partial blame for sure, which most of it's probably all blame. But anyway. Well, I mean, when the piece is this tiny, Dude. I mean, it's, it's so tiny. Did I or did I not walk around on your floor on my hands and knees looking for that? Yeah. I Luckily, we had another right. Futaba radio here, and we were able to rob that out of there. So. True RC scrap pile fashion, man. Yeah. Always keep that scrap pile, man. You never know yeah. what you're going to need out of it. Right. Absolutely. So We thought it was a junk goner basically yeah, we did i was looking for ones to buy on ebay i felt so bad yeah yeah <laughs> oh well but we got her all done that's so it i so think we're gonna sit back and enjoy a beard maybe, enjoy the fruits of our labor for yeah, a moment maybe figure out what we're gonna put this into i don't know we'll see you guys on the next video see ya